All right, now the news is starting to break that Canelo is going to take the Zone 2 fight deal, which I've been telling y'all about. People act like it's brand new news. Like I said, if I, <clears throat> if I don't even know what I got to do because I can't click fake, fake news, but I don't know what people want, bro. I told y'all what was going on. I told y'all the Charlo fight was supposed to get announced. Uh, ultimately, it didn't get announced. I kept y'all uh, updated on it. And I told y'all that. Canelo was leaning towards the Dimitri Bivol two-fight deal with Triple G, and that's exactly what's starting to get reported, that he's going to go fight Triple G and, um, and Dimitri Bivol. I don't care less. I don't care about the fights. Who cares? People really thought Triple G won the second fight. I don't even know where to where to kind of go at with it, bro. There's no way he won that second fight, bro. And do you really want to see Triple G fight? After seeing the Derbachenko fight, no, Camille's a matter, Steve Rowe. Like I said before, you know, um, it don't matter who you fight, these they, they gonna uh you know they gonna lose regardless. But people think triple G even in the second fight, bro. If I could tell you about him in the second fight, bro, like it was a it was a rumor. I ain't say it's a rumor, but it was a rumor about him in the second fight, bro. This dude is just a fucking grade A bum. I'm sorry to use that line. He's a bum. And um, so I mean that's pretty much what's going on. So uh obviously Al Heyman and them took an L. I'm gonna tease that because I might talk about that tonight live. I think the Porter boots thing, because people just like I said, people just I think people just love men love because boxing is a is is a masculine sport. We all do know that boxing is a masculine sport. That's why women can't get off in boxing because it's a masculine sport. And, you know, you've been taught not to put your hands on women or whatever. So nobody want to see two women fight. It's nothing feminine about that. Nothing feminine about it. Nobody really care about Katie Taylor, Serrano. It's a lot of fake I care about that fight type of stuff. Nobody care about that fight, bro. They say with the Puerto Ricans, just, man, they don't care about that fight. That's why people can't get with, with, with women boxing. We've been taught that women are supposed to be, you know, carry themselves a certain way, they feminine, all, all that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody care about no two, no three minute, two, you no know, two. It's boring. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody getting hurt. Ain't nobody getting knocked out. On like five people per division. You know, nobody care about it. Let's be real. Mixed martial arts did a good job of transitioning to it, but you know, but you look at, you know. You look at this, bro. I can care less about Dimitri Bivol. Everything he ain't been fighting nobody. I care less about Charlo. Let's get that established. <laughs> I care less about any of it. I'm just delivering y'all what's going on. And you know, so if you know Canelo looks good, Beast Bivol, Golovkin looks good against Murata. You know what I'm saying? Canelo Charlo plan to move up. For, hold on, what the hell happened? My bad. Uh, looks good as in Marada and Canelo Triple G3 remains one of the big. No, it's not a big. Oh, okay, okay, I guess anything Canelo do is big. Like, let's not say that anything Canelo do is, is big, right? And boxing wise, so it says that you know, biggest marketable fight. I don't care. I'm not going, well, I'm not watching either one of these fights. I don't care. Unless somebody told me Canelo got knocked out or knocked down, I can care less. Dimitri Bibble was done zero, you know, and they obviously it's, they pay 80 million, 85 million, so they up the offer five. Uh, Al Heyman, all this stuff they don't even know. Al Heyman up to offer five to 50 million for the Charlo fight, but I'm gonna read y'all the inside stuff because y'all act like y'all won't be hearing me say this, so I don't, I don't know. But as you see here, it's not nobody gonna order Canelo Triple G3, but we'll never know because the zone is not gonna release the numbers. You got a small people that's gonna order it. I don't care about the fight. I heard it also they want to do it in Mexico. An opportunity for one of the, the definite defying lead to settle a tremendous it's not a tremendous trilogy, bro. What's so great about the trilogy? The first fight was a good competitive fight. The second fight, you had to wait two hours, three hours to watch the fight. Nobody hit the canvas. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really was getting hurt in the second fight. Well, triple G was getting it's nothing tremendous about it. You got a guy in triple G who never won the belt. All his belts turned from is he fought for a vacant title that. Canelo dropped because Canelo didn't want to fight Darvachenko. He lost that fight versus Darvachenko, right? His WBA turns from an interim to regular. And this is all public information. Go to BoxRec. 
to a super WBA belt. Wow, who he beat Daniel Gill, right? Then his WBC belt, Canelo dropped it. He well, he fought Antonio uh Marco Antonio Rubio for the belt. He did beat knock out uh Dave Lemieux. He fought Marco Antonio Rubio for the interim belt with Canelo dropped and it turned into the full belt. He's never fought a nigga in the, he never fought a champion and beat him in the ring. Never. He never fought a guy who had at least one title defense and beat him and took his title. It's never happened. He's a product of boxing politics, and maybe because he won what a bronze or silver medal in the Olympics, maybe that's what it was. This is dude who's never did jack squat in his career. And if I ain't even gonna go there, he's done nothing in his career. But he says, Mike Cobb says, sources Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Hearn are closer to a fight, two fight deal. Uh, May 7th, Beeble. I already told y'all that. Uh, it was rumors that. Golovkin could be in December or September. There you go. If he beat Murata, no agreement yet. Canelo and Triple G both must win. There you go. Everybody say G-Fuck. He said he won't look forward to the Golovkin trilogy. Fine. I don't. <laughs> I don't. If Canelo don't knock him out this time, it don't count. It don't count as a win for him. It should be a no contest. Dimitri Andrade moved up to 68 and Charlo plan to move up for the fight. Canelo, Charlo Andre is a dream a lot. No, it's not a dream a lot. If he wouldn't fight him at 160, why would he fight him at 168? Why? Why Why would he fight him at... Like, just use your common sense, Mike. Use your common... Mike, you a smart guy, I think. I think you a competent guy. If he wouldn't fight him at 60, what's the difference in 68? He's going to continue to wait on Canelo. He's going to continue to wait on Canelo, Michael. And that's what it is. And I'm talking about Jamal Charlo. Charlo don't want to fight Southpaws. It's as simple as that. Austin Trout gave him all types of problems. Carlo don't want to fight Southpaw and let a slick rangy Southpaw. He ain't fighting him. John, Ronnie Fields said he ain't got nothing to offer. He got the he had the WBO. He said he got nothing to offer. What else do you want to hear? You know, oh, they should fight each other. Why don't Canelo say y'all fight each other? I'll fight the winner. He won't do that. And B, Dimitri Bivol already said he he gonna come down to sit. He said he a while a couple years ago he'd come down and fight. Uh, he said he'd come down and fight uh to 168 to fight Canelo. And what has Dimitri Bivol been doing right now, bro? They ain't getting no money out. No side from boxing get money out of me. Only fight that's that I that I that I approve of that's coming up is uh Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez. And we had to drag his ass into the ring, <laughs> literally. They talking about hopefully Canelo, you know, uh, help him make a decision. If another man got to help you make a decision and take a fight, bro, I, don't even, I really don't even want to see you, you fight. You know what I'm saying? So you're talking about Dimitri Bivol done jack crap. Jack crap of late. Umar Salah, decision. Craig Richards, decision. Lennon Castillo, a couple years ago, he didn't fight in 20, decision. Joe Smith Jr., decision. John Pascal, the decision. Isaac Chalamba, does he ain't knocked nobody out since Sullivan Barrera in 2018? You think this nigga got a chance? You crazy. This is a this is so much of a tune up, bro. They gonna drain him or he gonna come out. This so much of a tune up, kid. You he, this so much of a tune up. They already talking about the triple G fight being next. Come on, come on. Hey, are they telling you right there? He's gonna fight in September. They ain't they don't count on him to get no uh they don't count on him to get no uh cut. No, they already making plans, bro. They already know Dimitri Bill ain't got no shot. He ain't gonna win a decision. He ain't knocked somebody out since 2018. You know. You know, so what do we think? What do we think? Crazy. Crazy. What do y'all think, bro? In boxing, like we talk about Al Heyman, we knock Al Heyman dick in the dirt all the time. But let's be real. It's a it's the same thing around the board. It's the same thing around the board. 
Mike Dana White said every boxing event is a smash, a robbery, and grab. It's the same thing across the board. And, and fans get excited for, 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 for trash. This is trash. Golovkin is a great, no matter how you feel about the first two fights, Golovkin is a grade A bum. He always been, but he's like a grade A bum right now. He's a grade A bum. Y'all act like y'all ain't seen his resume of late. He literally sat down waiting for this opportunity. Have y'all not seen him? Camille Zermatta went say he went seven with Camille Zermatta. Don't even remember seeing the fight. Steve Rose actually kind of hurt him. He's fought three times since Canelo Alvarez, bro. Since 2018, he's fought three times, 19, 20, 21. In three years, he got three fights to show for it. He did not fight in 2021. Well, Marana thing, man. It is what it is. He did not fight in 21. He probably fight April 2nd. If the you know the virus don't clear up, then they have to fight in America. So he ain't fought and he fought three times since the second Canelo fight. Since the first Canelo fight, he's fought five times altogether. If you want to include, include Vinus Monterosian. If you want to go through his resume, and I'm kind of get to Cal Heyman in a minute. I'm really gonna cook on them. And, uh, I'm gonna get this all out. I'm really gonna kick on them and uh on the live tonight if I choose to do a lot. So look, let's see, let's look at his resume. I know y'all hate the truth. That's why I know y'all hate the truth. Let's look. He won a vacant WBO intercontinental title. Right, he won the world boxing interim world middleweight title versus Milton Nunez in Panama City. You want to know where Milton Nunez at now? Look at that. Look at that. 37-28-1. Right? He defended it versus Nielsen Julio Tapia. Then he defended it versus Kasim Uma. Had to be 60 years old when they fought. He struggled with Kasim Uma. Then he fought for the vacant IBO. He defended his WBA versus Lewan Simon. Then he defended his Reggie WBA versus Mako Fanukamiko or whatever. He was 19-6. Then he made his HBO American debut. He defended regular versus Prosca. He defended the regular verse in IBO versus Rosado. He defended the Reggie in IBO versus Ishida. He, he defended the Reggie and WIBO versus Matthew Macklin. He defended the WBO Reggie in the Intercon International Boxing Organization World Middleweight title versus Stevenson. Versus Dom, he defended the same two. Okay. Versus Daniel Gill, it became that he fought Daniel Gill for the World Boxing Super World Middleweight title. When he fought Daniel Gill, he fought Daniel Gill. It turned into a red or the, the true belt. It turned into the real belt when he fought Daniel Gill. They wasn't a unification. Daniel Gill didn't bring unless he was an interim champion. And it doesn't say here. So he fought a belt versus Daniel Gill, a guy who wasn't the champion. Let's double check that. No. He had the he had the WBA Pan African Middleweight title. The, how do he get the African? He probably get the WBA Pan African middleweight title fighting in Australia. And he fought for the vacant IBF Pan Pacific middleweight title before he fought Golovkin. Come on, man. Pan African title in Australia. <laughs> you know? No, then he fought the next fight. He fought for the interim WBC interim world middleweight title. Rubio failed to make weight, lost his interim title. None of these titles on the line for Rubio. Canelo beat him in two rounds. He became the next fight. Well, he kept, he defended against Martin Murray, the real WBA title. He defended the interim WBC title. So, we you know, he still held the title. He still got mandated to fight for the interim title. He still held two. I'm telling you, boxing is a racist, racial-driven sport. Interim, interim, interim versus Willie Monroe, David Lemieux, Dominic Ray. 
he became the uh he had the interim. So when he fought Kell Brook, he became the real WBC champion. When he fought Kell Brook, he won his his belt became he became a real WBC belt when he fought Kell Brook. Come on, man. This is a this is a joke. And all of this is public information. He his resume is a joke. He's never beat a, a guy that defended his title in the ring. And he's talking about his pay-per-views. He did Crawford S type of pay-per-views on HBO. The mothership of premium of boxing. It was doing better numbers in his heyday than on Fox and ESPN right now. He's never beat a champion in the ring. He's never beat a title holder in the ring. All his belts manifest from interim to regular in, in versus non-champion holders when he fought them. When he fought Darvichenko, it was vacant. When he fought Danny Jacobs, Jacob was the Reggie WBA title holder. He didn't hold a real title. And all these white riders go around here pushing propaganda. He's never beat a, somebody in the ring. That's why I don't care about titles. That's all it is is a title. You're not a world champion. It's a title with so many championship belts and titles out here. You can literally win them by not taking a a belt from another fighter. How are you a champion? I can't even call you a title holder. I just got to call you a belt holder. Just keeping it real. Just keeping it one humble. He's never beat a champion in the ring. I proved it. Danny Jacobs later on became a, a champion or a title holder. He's never beat a title holder in the ring. Champion in the ring. It's the honest truth. Now, did, I, did Floyd Mayweather, this and Canelo have something to do with Canelo going the other way? Honestly, I don't, I don't know. Because I think if Canelo would have fought Charlo, I think if Canelo would have fought Charlo, I think that uh, this two-fight deal still would have been on the table for him. So, I mean, like I said before, I think if he fought Charlo, this deal would be on the table now. Uh, this is something that I heard. Hold on. Just kind of read this last night. So it said that... Uh, mm, so... Uh, it said they weren't sure about the ticket sales or something. So I think, I think Showtime let them go. I don't know. It's just something about the ticket sales. He said they were not sure if the tickets would sell great. So it says Canelo versus Charlo dead. Canelo likes his own deal too. So it is what it is. It don't matter what it was. Al Heyman put all that money into Canelo. And uh, now he walked back to the zone. Now he walked back to the zone. He go right back to Eddie Hearn. Eddie knew he was coming back. You know, if he wouldn't fight Charlo at 100 and... Uh, 54 pounds when Charlo was truly green. Why would he fight him now? Charlo profile ain't been raised on pay-per-view. Why would Canelo give all the fight he won? He go fight Dimitri Bivol and be able to drain him. He probably couldn't dominate Charlo in, in negotiations. The, the Canelo Alvarez is, uh, you know, Al Hammond fight is hard to negotiate with. So now Charlo just going to keep, you know, Doing what he's doing, beating vagabonds, and uh, waiting for Canelo shot down the line. Or now you get, you know, him and Caleb Plant. Maybe Plant get, they maybe feature him on the same card, and maybe Plant get in the ring. Maybe so. But right now, Al Heyman did all of that, paying them all that in the budget, and they wanted to keep him, and they can't keep him. And they couldn't keep him. You got fifty million dollars up. Oh, you got fifty million for him to fight Charlo. First it was fifty, then it went to forty-five, then they had fifty, and maybe they pulled out at the end of the day. Maybe at the end of the day, it wasn't worth it. But they pulled out, or maybe Canelo just told him no. And you let somebody keep coming and going in your life, cheating and coming and going, what you think? They're going to be able to get away with it all the time.
they're going to be able to get away with it all the time. Honest truth. That uh, Gap Ben can't keep running in and out of my life. He won't, you know. Got all that money for Canelo. Take some of that Canelo money, invest it into Spence and Tarford. As I keep hearing, could be happening next. Keith could have to wait. I, I don't know. Changes like the weather. Changes like the weather. Might see April 16th. You might see Crawford getting the ring. I don't know. Okay, call it. Keep hearing different reports. But like I said before, they got play. You got you got hosed, Tommy. You got hosed. He ran right back over there. He wasted all that time, all that time getting the investors to to invest in the fight, and he played, y'all. They're going to fight Demetrius Vivel. And, by the way, it's going to be on the zone pay-per-view. It's going to be on South of Five. It's going to be on the zone pay-per-view. I'm not bad about the lawsuit article. It looked just like y'all article, by the way, bro. Just like y'all format, you know? You know, so like I said before, they said he Alvarez also more than one fight. It, it turned they and they ended that up to 50, bro. And he was trying to get Charlo 10 to 12. This man will never take a risk in his career. Never have to. It's always gonna be somebody to pay him the money. He'll never take a risk in his career. If he do, it's always gonna have a safety net on his, his career. He's gonna have a safety net on his career. And everybody keep acting like it's taboo that what he's doing, putting rehydration clause. He's a great fighter. If Earl Spence was doing it. If Wilder was doing it, it'd be hell. Like I said before, I don't care about him fighting the white boys. I don't care about him fighting Charlo. All his fights are the 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 outcome is predetermined. So where's the suspense? You told him going to fight with better BF. Charlo, Benavidez, with no strings attached. You go in there, fight them straight up. Man, that nigga lose. He don't believe in himself as a fighter. But like I said before, this is going to be on the zone pay-per-view. Y'all going to act like I ain't say this or I ain't say this before. Copper just said, ah, I can't believe it. This is going to be on the zone pay-per-view. This will not be part of your annual subscription for what I heard. Canelo is going to launch the zone pay-per-view. You're going to have to pay an additional... So whatever they price it at, $60, $75, $80 to watch Canelo fight. So think about that for me. You want to pay $75, $80. It ain't going to be like he fighting on his own. It's part of your $100 annual subscription or your $20 a month annual description. You're going to have to pay to watch this Joker fight. So that is what it is, man. I'm tired of talking on it. want to support the channel. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, Christian chance to get notifications, go live, or drop a video. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Appreciate that. Check out the box. We're going to just call this a rumor right now. Check out the box rumor playlist uh, for more videos like this. Um, check out the podcast, um, Goodfella TV. Podcast on Spotify, Good Fella TV podcast on Anchor. Uh, you can listen to all my live streams ad free. You know, you ain't got to keep the YouTube light on to get YouTube red. Go right over there, listen to it. Um, and the more you, the more y'all support it, the more I'll be able to get other podcast platforms like Apple and, and Google or Spreaker so you can listen to it on, uh, on on different uh platforms so appreciate y'all uh, other than that man you can find me on twitter facebook instagram if you have a business question inquiry sponsorship all my social media links there uh appreciate the love support one time for the one time peace